Imagine you're walking down the street and you see a sign for a new burger restaurant. The sign is eye-catching with bold letters and mouth-watering images of burgers. This is an example of marketing communication. The restaurant is using visual elements to communicate with you and grab your attention. Marketing communication is all about creating messages and content that appeal to a target audience with the goal of promoting a product or service. It can take many forms, including advertising, social media, email marketing, and more. In this video, we'll explore the basics of marketing communication and how it can be used to effectively promote a business or product. So if you're interested in learning more about the power of marketing communication, keep watching. Marketing communication is how businesses tell their current and potential customers about their products and services in a unique and creative way. With the goal of getting customers to buy the goods and services, the messaging can be either direct or indirect. Some of the many channels and platforms used for marketing communication are Google Ads, print ads, TV commercials, social media marketing, PR campaigns, blogging, content marketing, and trade shows and exhibitions. Marketing communication is made up of the words marketing and communication. Before we learn what marketing communication is, let's learn about marketing and communication on their own. Marketing is what a business does to get more people to buy their products. Companies do this in a number of ways, such as through advertising, market research, getting back in touch with old customers, sending them emails, using celebrity endorsements, eye-catching graphic designs, catchy slogans or phrases, and so on. The main goal of marketing is to get the attention of potential customers. There are many ways to do this. The dictionary says that communication is the act of giving or getting information from one person to another through different means, such as talking or writing. Even though two people can talk to each other, they can't do so if one of them isn't there. Marketing communication is the use of different forms of communication, like print media, radio, TV, emails, events, brochures, etc., to reach marketing goals. One can choose from a number of business communication methods. 1. Make a plan for how your marketing communications will work. The first thing on the list of why marketing communication is important is that it helps the company's management and marketing managers come up with a plan for making the most of the different marketing opportunities and platforms and coming up with plans that force the company to come up with new cutting-edge ways to market its products to customers. It helps the business build a unique identity as a brand that looks for marketing and promotion strategies that are not only strategic but also have a competitive edge in how they talk about the qualities and features of the goods and services. 2. Raise brand recognition. Understanding the importance of marketing communication, on the other hand, helps build brand awareness and gives it the push it needs in a roundabout way. The marketing communication strategy and creative artworks start by focusing on the brand's strong history, then move on to the brand's features and unique selling points. 3. Gives you a leg up on the competition. There are way too many companies with similar products and services on the market. This gives customers a lot of options and choices. Because of this, a lot of customers choose the goods and services of companies that compete with them. The company can promote its products in a unique and creative way by using different marketing and media channels, such as print ads, TV commercials, radio spots, digital marketing, interactive marketing, and PR, among others. This gives the company a chance to show off the good things about its products and services while giving its biggest competitors a tough time. 4. Promotes Friendship the next reason why marketing communication is important is that it helps a company build its reputation in the market. This is because when a company's communication strategy is used in a consistent and steady way, both current and potential customers get used to the idea of trust. This is because they keep an eye on the company's messages and how it talks about its products. This gives them the impression that the company is honest about what it has to offer. Participating in many activities related to corporate social responsibility, CSR, and for the good of society is also part of marketing communication. This helps the business gain the trust of its clients and stakeholders. This is another part of what the topic is about. 5. Brings in talent. Marketing communication and messaging strategies that are honest and creative bring in new customers. They also bring in willing employees, vendors, investors, 
agencies, and other business partners who can help the business grow. This makes it easier for the business to grow and reach its goals and objectives in a very successful way. 6. Informs the group of investors. It also tells investors about the company's strengths, core values, fundamentals, vision, approach, and goals, as well as its competitive advantages, unique selling propositions, and the features and attributes of the products and services offered to the target market. This benefit is related to the one above, and it shows how important communication is in marketing. Once the investors are happy with the company's goals and ideals, they are ready to put money into the business. This helps management reach its financial goals, which in turn will boost business operations, improve sales, and lead to more money. 7. Brings in more money. The golden rule of business strategy says that the marketing and sales departments are each other's backbones. When they work together, the company's profits are at an all-time high because sales and market share are higher than those of its competitors. This is because the marketing communication is strategic, creative, and on the cutting edge. It also fits well with the organization's overall business goals. 8. Better ways to talk to and interact with customers. To bring in new customers and keep old ones for the long term, marketing communication must be open, consistent, clear, and direct. It must also help solve problems that customers have. And when the business's management and marketing department understand and grasp the importance of marketing communication, communication with customers automatically gets better and customers' trust in the brand, its products, and the company as a whole goes up in many ways, making it easier for the business to reach its goals and objectives. 9. Come up with creative ideas for marketing and advertising. When management and the marketing department know how important marketing communication is, they can come up with creative marketing and advertising ideas that not only get the brand's message across, but also give the company an edge over its competitors in the market. Also, it's important for the business to keep up with the latest marketing trends in the market and be open to trying out new and different ways to promote its products and services. All of the above reasons for why marketing communications are important can be found above. 13 Parts of Marketing Communication 1. Promotion Advertising is at the top of my list of ways to get the word out about a product or service. Advertising is the process of letting people know about products and services through ads. Advertising is one of the most common ways to get the word out about a product or service. Businesses spend millions on advertising to get the word out about their products. Advertising has a high return on investment, so the money spent on it is worth it. Depending on how much money you have, you can either make the ad yourself or hire a marketing firm. There are many ways to advertise, such as on TV, the radio, YouTube, and other places. Where you can pay to have your ads show up, and if you pay more, they will show up more often. One more popular way to advertise is through online ads. Commercials on the internet are cheaper and give a better return on investment than ads on TV. They also make it easier to figure out the return on investment, which is another benefit of advertising online. Number 2. Relations with the public. Public relations is one of the most reliable ways to market something because it comes from a third party instead of the company itself. With this kind of marketing communication, the public is kept up to date without spending a dime. This way of getting the word out about a business is popular, and it works well because the information comes from trustworthy sources instead of those who have been paid by the business. This is one reason why companies prefer advertising to public relations. They lose control over the content. Public relations softly and subtly promotes the products, while advertising uses force to sell the products. Still, you should choose this type of marketing communication if your product is real and you have something valuable to offer. 3. Sales Promotion Let's talk about the most popular way to market and communicate. Consumers adore bargains. When they see on sale or 50% off, they get really excited. You can run a sales campaign using many different methods such as discounts, coupons, free gifts, free samples, competitions, two-for-one deals, rebates, loyalty programs, and free shipping. Small, new businesses often use this method of marketing communication. By using this method, you may be able to establish your place in the market and sell more of your goods. 
Sales promotion can be done at any time of the year, including during the holiday season. So, make sure you have a plan for your sales promotion and don't just put an X% percent discount next to the items you want to sell more of. If you don't, you'll lose the money you worked hard for instead of making any. 4. Internet Media Online media are now the most common way for businesses to get their message out. This is because of two things. One is that most people now spend most of their time online, about 90%. The second reason is that this method of marketing communication is relatively cheap compared to other methods, so it has the most reach. The goal of online media is to sell or promote your goods using online platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, websites, and blogs, among others. You can also pay people with a lot of followers on social media to share your products. By doing this, you can reach a lot of people for a small amount of money. This type of marketing communication works very well because it sends a clear message to people who might buy something. Number 5. Client Support You must have met at least one or two people, friends, family, or other acquaintances, who love a product so much that they try to get you to buy it and use it at least once. They are advertising the company's product without getting anything in return, which is hard to believe. Customers' advocacy is a type of marketing communication in which happy and satisfied customers talk about your products for you without being paid to do so. You can spend a little money, though, to get people to talk about your products. For example, if they tell their friends about your products, you could give them a certain amount of money off. Even though it only reaches a small number of people, this type of marketing is very effective because people trust their friends and family more than they trust TV ads. For example, a single customer may tell up to four or five people he knows about your product. Number six, about the product. The product launch is a type of marketing communication that costs a lot of money. Because launching a product takes a separate team of professionals and a lot of planning, this method of marketing communication is usually used by large companies with a lot of money. When a new product hits the market, it is called a product launch. This means that the product has a new or better version. As soon as the product hits the market, sales go up and your brand's name and reputation grow. Number seven, brand, you did indeed read that right. Brand building is one of the best ways to get your marketing message across. You may have noticed that a lot of people call things by their brand names instead of what they are. If so, you're likely not the only one. People called them my Nike or my Puma instead of my sneakers or my sports shoes. They also called lipsticks by their brand names, like Nars Velvet or Inix, instead of just calling them lipsticks. P.S. If you're like me and don't know what these lipstick brands are called, here they are. Number eight, market analysis. Before putting a product on the market, companies do market research to learn about the market and their target customer's needs, expectations, motivations, and interests. Market research can be done in a number of different ways, such as through focus groups, test studies, surveys, one-on-one -on -one interviews, test studies, and recognition studies. This kind of marketing communication is very important because it lets you know what your target market wants and how the market is doing. With this information, you can come up with a good marketing plan to get potential customers to buy your goods. Number 9. Publicity Publicity is one of the best ways to get the word out about a product or service. Publicity means that magazines, newspapers, TV shows, and other forms of media talk about your products. This type of marketing communication can boost sales and help people remember your brand right away. You can get a story about your product published by using your connections with local journalists, but this kind of business communication is also very dangerous. Because you don't have any control over what's in the news, and because journalists are free to say or write whatever they want about your product, it could get bad press. Number 10. Selling directly. Personal selling is one of the oldest ways to get the word out about a product. In the past, when radio, TV, and online platforms were not as popular as they are now, businesses relied on personal selling to spread the word about their products. Companies use this type of marketing communication to sell things to consumers by going door to door. This method is very expensive because you have to give your salespeople a big commission on every unit they sell.
This kind of marketing communication is also slow because it only talks to one potential buyer at a time. Number 11, internet marketing. This kind of marketing communication is possible now that digital devices are a part of our lives. The right place, the right product, the right offer, and the right way to market it. So, the best way to sell your goods is through cell phones. People forget to eat sometimes, but they never forget to look at their phones. Digital marketing is a good way to get your message out because it is interactive, portable, targeted, shareable, and flexible. With the help of digital marketing, you can make offers to specific customers and tailor the content of your ads to the people you want to reach. Number 12. Marketing directly. With direct marketing, you can target specific clients if you know who they are. This makes it very different from other methods of mass marketing, such as media marketing, PR, etc. They are happy to get mail, postcards, catalogs, and coupons for discounts. This method works well for businesses that depend a lot on repeat customers, like those that use promotional codes, discount coupons, special deals, etc. as part of their marketing efforts. If you know the customer well, you can even add a personalized note or letter. You could send them a coupon or a small gift for their birthday or anniversary, for example. People will stay loyal to your brand because of how honest you are. Number 13 Blogs and Websites this kind of marketing communication that doesn't cost much is fairly new. In this marketing message, you talk about your goods in a roundabout way. A blog is a kind of online personal journal where a person can write about how they feel or other important things. If you own a cosmetic store, for example, you can use a blog to talk about beauty products or tips. There, you not only give your audience useful information, but you also subtly promote the goods of your brand. In the same way, your business's website is its online identity. On the official website for your business, you include information about its certifications, products, contact information, and other important facts.